Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the features of ERP system. So now go to SQL Server and get the first we are discuss the admin account. Okay, so here I have the admin of Sanman. Uh, this is the email of Sanman and this is the password admin. So I'm going to log in Sanman and then I'm going to log in. So this is the admin, admin at the companies and also the user of the company. Okay. And these systems have two types of user, admin and user. User is a company level and admin is manage this system because in this ERP system have one many comp one to many companies and then every company have one to many branches and then each branch have one to many branches means this system is uh, manage the in often branches and often companies so here is the users all the users which is registered it's maybe admin or a company user so the company have have branches different types of branches means head branch zonal branch and then so on so here is the registered companies list and then here is the new company registration and next this is the account heads which is the assets liabilities expenses capital and revenue then here this is the financial year currently we have two financial years one is the 219 to 220 and 220 to 221 and this is the start date and end date <clears throat> and uh, below all the customers all the customers of all companies will be show here and there's the all suppliers of all companies all branches will be show here to the admin so this is the admin section which is simply to register the companies and then the company will uh, add the, our uh, branch itself. So I'm going to log out from this users. <clears throat> but the next is the company user. So the company I am going to log in this journal. This is the head office of the company, which is the Zco company. So this is the Cedar branch. Okay. So this is the email and the password is 12345. So this is the Junaid and one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to log in. So now you see here is the dashboard of the company. Okay. But this is the head office. If this branch want to create another branch, so now click on the branch and you will see our branches is under working this branch. Okay. So this is the zonal branch which is registered under this branch and the Junaid branches which is currently I am logged in from this branch. This is the Junaid at gmail.com. This is the this branch is the head office branch. Okay. And this is the zonal branch. So if Junaid want to if this branch want to add another branch. So then it will be added from here. Okay, so now select the branch level. Head office is already added. Now, <clears throat> this is the uh, southern branch. Okay, this is many branch here. This is the type of branch. Okay, so if there's one to add another branch, so maybe sub branch or zonal branch, any type of branch is added under this Junaid branch. So if the branch is added below from the Junaid branch, so this, uh, so the current branch will be check her balance sheet, income statement, account ledger, journal, purchase, sales and so on. And this is the check and balance. Okay. So let's go and this is the dashboard and dashboard you will get your uh, current month revenue, your current month expenses, your current month recovery means how many payments is recovered from the customer and then your net profit whole net profit and also the owner capital and also the bank balance the total receivable and total payable and also here the current day total sale sale payment pending sale payment paid 
total purchase, purchase payment pending and purchase payment paid and also the return record here. Total return sale, total return sale payment pending, return sale payment paid, total return pay purchases and so on. And also the sales, sale and purchase of the February 2013 total sale, sale payment pending, sale payment paid, total purchase, purchase payment pending and purchase payment paid and also the return of the purchase. Okay, so this is the today and this is the uh, month. Okay, the current month record will be shown in these two portion and the current day record will be shown and here. So this is the dashboard and now this is the users, the branch users. Okay, so here is the Nishtarabad uh, branch. The user is uh, hamid at gmail.com. The branch which is under the this branch which is uh, currently I'm logged in from this. So the user will be shows here. So this is the branches user will be show here. Okay. If branch want to get the employee, then the branch will manage our employees here, her payrolls, her paid salaries and so on of the employees. The next, okay. Then this is the payroll, the records of the employee which is salary paid or not paid and so on. Okay, this, this is the employees and this is the payroll. So if you uh, branch want to add another employee, so add from the, there and this is the payroll employee salary. So now you, uh, so now the branch will be search here, the CNIC of the employee and search, they will get the record, then will be enter the salary and process the salary, the salary will be paid. This is the paid salary history. So I'm going here, the Hamid salary will be paid, the Junaid salary will be paid, the Salma Khan salary is to be paid. Now you will see here, and this is the print payroll record. Now you will see here, this is the print. So once you want to print the payroll, so now will uh, the user will be click from print button and they will get the whole payrolls, okay? I'm going to back. The next is the stock categories, means the branch product categories, the stock categories, cold drinks, juice, ice cream, stationeries, male shoes, female shoes, machines and so on. If branch want to edit the category, then we, he, then the branch will be edit the category also. This is the stock details, means the item details in the stock, Her, the product quantities, expiry date, manufacture date, status, the status, uh, if the status is not checked, it means the product will be not set. Okay. If branch want to update the product, update from here. Okay. This is the item and this is the category of the item. This is the account controls which is under the account families. Means assets, liabilities, expenses. So expenses, the salaries is going to be expenses, liabilities, the account payables, account receivable, cash on, uh, on hand. Here if the branch want to add another account from uh, so then uh, from our branch so then the branch will be click here on the new account go to continue so then we will select the asset libraries means the account family and then you enter account and create okay this is the sub account a uh, branch want to add the another account inside and the account controls means account receivables by bank account receivable cash on hand cash on hand money to be bank cash on hand pretty cash credit card master card credit card visa tax income tax and liabilities and so on okay so the uh, account sub control and there is the account controls this account control under the account head and account sub control under the account controls and this is the account flow the account flow is show which account will be credited and which account will be debit if the transaction will be processed. So if the expenses is processed, the expenses, the office repairs, product and so on. So once the sale is processed, the revenue product and sale product, this account will be affected. So here is the account flow, the account setting. Okay. So now I'm going to, okay. So Okay, this is the financial year. So here the branch will be get our financial year. 
means which financial year is currently ongoing okay the next is uh, this is the customer the, if the customer want to add another uh, employee a uh, customer so the custom so the branch will be add customer from here okay this is the branch uh, and here the branch will get all the customers our customers and this is the sub uh, and uh, okay and this is the sub branch customers means this is the current branch customer and also the branch check the sub branch customer also this is the uh, okay this is the new sale this is the sale portion here is the new sale sale pending all sales sale returns and so on so on okay so this is the portion where the uh, branch perform the sales on customer the customer sell sell pending payments if the sell in perform and the payment is pending so here will be show now you will see here is this is the 1000 the total amount the 900 is paid and remaining balance is 100 so now i am going to pay this 100 so pay amount and i'm going to 100 okay and now paid so the amount is paid and the sale will be out from this list sale payment pending list okay the next is uh, all sales so now the branch is check our sales is here so now i'm going to check the previous years from 2019 okay and now i'm going to get from to the tell that okay you click here the retrieve record the record will be show here so this is the clear 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 okay so and now see here is the the uh, here is the payment is pending which is 75 and the in these all is clear okay so if uh, the branch if the customer or branch need the its pay history means so, means how type of payment is paid so this is the one time and one time the payment is paid okay uh, now i'm show here this is the payment he means in two times if first he if first the, uh, pay the uh, 30000 and then pay the 250 this is the return amount uh, return payment return okay this cell is return okay so this is the so also uh, see uh, you, so also you will check here the cell return detail also okay so this is the all sales okay all sales okay now the next is the sale return the sale return so once the customer says uh, please return my the products i uh, i am not want to uh, purchase it uh, this item for us so um, the branch will be returned the invoice from here enter uh, the branch will enter here the uh, the invoice number and then click on find the uh, purchase there is the find sale okay and then we'll be get to return okay i'm going to the next the return sale payment pending okay okay nothing will be here uh, the record means all return sale amount pending is clear okay so now the next is uh, new sale is finished okay so here is the new suppliers so if the branch want to purchase item so if the user want to purchase item from branch so then uh, here is the the portion is the supplier which is the branch add uh, the new suppliers add so check our supplier list means how many suppliers of this branches and also check is the sub branch supplier also okay okay the next is the purchase so this is uh, so from here the branch perform purchases means a branch want to purchase um, item for us so the branch will be purchase from here item and also select the product and then center the quantity and then once go to uh, next so uh, so on the end of finalizing Mm. the end of finalizing of purchase you want 
the supplier name and then the purchase will be finalized okay this is the pending purchase pa pending payments has all purchases purchase return and so on okay now you will see here this is the remaining payments on this branch of this purchase so this is the pay history i'm showing you here one time he paid a, uh, this branch pay 5000 to our suppliers so now i am going to pay here the okay now i am going to here pay 1000 again so now see here i am going to pay history so now you will see here the 1000 is paid is pay, paid to this branch and the remaining payment is 25,000 uh, 25, 350 okay the purchase is clear this is the general transactions okay, I am going to continue so now see here this is the general transaction if branch want to perform any type of transaction from here means transfer amount from uh, one account to another so then the uh, the branch will be performed from here the general transactions okay this is the journal so now you will see here this is the journal now you can export this journal to excel pdf and um, if you want to print so now you also print this record also okay i'm going to export to excel so now you will see here you will get this record in excel also if csv and copy and so on okay the next is account ledger so i'm going to show you the account ledger also now you will see here a lot of accounts is here so now you will see you will check also here the accounts this is the account ledger means every account have full detail you will get from here and also you can export it to excel i'm going to export it to excel and i'm going to open so now you will see here a lot of account have full detail you you will get okay so now i'm going to trial balance this is the trial balance now you will see here this is the full trial balance record okay so if you want to get uh, this year trial balance so now you will select the year okay so this is the trial balance the next is the income statement the full income statement detail you will get from here okay we do select this now you will see here the income statement okay so now the last one is the balance sheet so this is the balance sheet okay so this is the full overview of this system but uh, i am going to log into another branch which is the nashtarabad branch which is work under this branch this branch so nashtarabad branch so this is this branch so this user is a uh, hamid at gmail.com and our password is one two three four five so this system is a huge system means is uh, manage many branches under the branches working and under the company and you will manage many companies inside and in this uh, erp system so this is very big software okay and you will get all the tutorials from our youtube channel kodidilia soft so if you like this uh, software this tutorials this series so please subscribe the code Rilia soft youtube channels and also click on the bell button and also share the videos